is implementing the program Empowered Women Peaceful Communities in South Asia and Southeast Asia, with emphasis in Philippines, Indonesia, and Bangladesh. UN Women is working to ensure that women are empowered to build resilient, cohesive, and peaceful communities to prevent radicalization and violent extremism. One of the key things that we're working on in Indonesia is the development of this innovative new model called Peace Villages. A model is how communities that consisted of different backgrounds, of different religious backgrounds, ethnicities can coexist peacefully together. <laughs> the idea is that community members start to make peace within their families and then they agree on guidelines for the community as a whole. Di masyarakat sekarang pendapatnya tentang desa damai saat ini semakin kental. Jadi apa slogan yang waktu itu kita cetuskan bersama slogan adem ayam eng atine itu sering kali kita gaungkan dalam setiap pertemuan pertemuan. We want to reclaim the space in our society that for a while was taken by the more radical group of Islam. Saya adalah Katolik, tetapi sudah mulai sering diundang untuk hadir ke kegiatan keagamaan dari umat muslim dan kami senang dengan senang hati hadir di dalamnya. This idea we developed with the Wahid Foundation has received support from Indonesia's Ministry of Villages and the National Counterterrorism Body BNPT. BNPT has expressed its commitment to using the idea of peace villages as a strategy as it implements its national action plan. This is a good cooperation with the National Counterterrorism Agency. The UN Movement has supported us in our efforts in drafting the National Action Plan. The National Action Plan itself, one of the main principles is on women's empowerment and gender equality. So the role of women here is very important in efforts to mitigate violent extremism. Also, UN Women, in partnership with the Wahid Foundation, has developed a community-based early warning system. And we're piloting this system in the peace villages. Saya sebagai kepala desa Anggulkan menyambut senang kehadiran Wahid Foundation karena program-program Wahid Foundation pertama adalah tentang pemberdayaan perempuan. In Bangladesh, we are supporting 300 female students to develop social business plans with innovative ideas to promote gender equality, peace and resilience in the society. Men who are getting into drugs, uh, men who are showing extreme violence or getting involved in terrorism is a problem for your family because if your brother does it, if your husband does it, if somebody's son does it, it still becomes a woman's problem because she is then affected in the society. These girls can change those kind of mindsets. We are working with 800 women in rural areas, including the host communities in Cox's Bazaar, through leadership and business skills development training. It's amazing to see the resilience. Women can be given roles as leaders and as entrepreneurs to design social businesses, which can lead to increased social cohesion and reduce radicalization amongst both men and women, to empower them in a way that they can empower other women as well, where everyone can flourish and live peacefully. People are not jobless. People are getting employment opportunities more and more. But this time, this is not like rice paddy kind of business. This is more than that. It will help to encourage other women. I want to be a researcher in my future life. Do a research in psychology, human psychology because it's an interesting subject to me. We are supporting the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bangladesh to develop their very first national action plan on women, peace and security. And we are training 21 civil society groups to spread awareness on the national action plans at the community level. These are the social change makers that promote a much more peaceful society. UN Women is currently implementing the Empowered Women Peaceful Communities program in the Philippines. In some of these communities, the work that UN Women is doing is actually the first intervention that these environments have ever had. 
and some of the municipal and local governments have been saying that the women just haven't received this kind of support before. Yung datupiang dati, pero nang magkagera, pero muru to muru na yon siya. So nagkaibakwit kami dito sa boyan. Siguro kasi kami mga mula nang nagtraining kami ng tinraining kami ng TMI and UN Women. Natuto kami kung paano makisama tapos siguro alam namin yung mga kakayahan namin. Gusto namin gusto namin na makatulong sa mga yung lumalaganap na mga karahasan. We're focusing on the area of Mindanao, working with our partner, the Morrowpreneuring, to work on women's economic empowerment by strengthening women's economic opportunities and women's leadership opportunities and coupling this with the opportunity for women to learn more about social cohesion, about gender equality and about peace building, we can create more empowered, resilient communities that are stronger to push back against the threat of violent extremism. Gawa nila ngayon. Sa ngayon po gumagawa na po sila ng water hyacinth na yung water hyacinth is ginagawang mga bags, mga sapatos, uh, cup, nang dahil po doon, nagkaroon po sila ng hanap buhay kahit na sila ay walang hanap buhay sa bahay lang. Ngayon, dahil sa The Murofrener Incorporated, uh, na-empower ako as a woman <clears throat> kasi nalaman ko kung ano yung mga teknik sa pagninegosyo. Because of this, nagkaroon din po sila ng lakas ng loob para po i-show kung gaano sila katatag ng mga babae. Na hindi lang po pwede palang maging leader ang isang babae, hindi lang po lalaki ang dapat na maging mamuno sa ating bansa or sa ating lugar. Pwede rin po ang mga kababaihan. It's really encouraging to see how much local ownership there is over these interventions and how much the women are learning from them but the communities as a whole are benefiting. If women is knowledgeable and have skills, they can make impossible possible in terms of peace. The research shows that women's empowerment at the community level has an impact not only on increasing the knowledge and the confidence of women, it also increases the knowledge and confidence of men and of community leaders. This programmatic approach of empowering women as an entry point to work with communities on preventing and countering violent extremism has shown to work. <laughs>